Welcome back to Essential Hair Academy. I'm Tim Duenas and today we're here with Iman. We're gonna be working with a face frame, long layer, and how to deal with split ends when your client comes in. Today, we're gonna to be working with our five inch straight blade scissors. We're gonna be cutting wet and then we'll blow dry and do some refining. We're really gonna focus on helping her wear her hair a little bit looser. So let's go ahead and get shampooed and then we'll get started. So we're back from our shampoo and we're gonna go ahead with our sectioning. We're gonna work with a center back parting starting from the tip of the nose lined up with the center of the hairline all the way back to the nape. I'm going to work with my face frame and then cut my length to that. A benefit of cutting my layers first prior to cutting my layers is I'm gonna end up having a lighter perimeter. I still wanna keep this airiness to it. So let's go ahead and get started. To find the center, I'm gonna take the sectioning tooth of my comb Tilt my client's head backward, pull back, and then straight back to the top of the head. We're gonna start with the face frame. Kind of set my line in here, halfway between chin and her collarbone. For this haircut, we're gonna start in the front, and that will be our guide for our layering through the sides and the back. We're gonna start with the diagonal back section, following the hairline. Her shoulder is just past center. If I pick this as my balance point on both sides, then it'll make sure that I'm aligned and my balance on the haircut will be the same. That means I'll start here, off the head, and then I'll work down, connecting into the perimeter. I'll look at the regrowth here and make sure that there's no bunches when I comb. We're gonna tilt her head back. That way we have a little bit of room to elevate if we need to, and it doesn't cause any graduation. Pick our starting point, lay the hair on our hand. We're gonna cut up, gently closing the shear to create that nice line. Move down, just completely vertical towards the center parting. This helps me to create a cleaner line and not going like this and craning my hand around. I can do that, but it's just not as comfortable as going like this and we're gonna be using a little bit of the hair from the front as our guide for our layering through the back. So you'll comb up and if it doesn't reach, let it drop away. So she has some pre-existing layers there that I'm just letting fall away. Again, I look for the guide, keeping my hands parallel to the floor, coming into my previous section. For this, I'm gonna have them on stand up so that I can get a clearer look. We're gonna be working with our shear flat and just creating a nice, clean guide. What we're gonna do is just bevel these corners here and really visually connect into that face frame there. Visually bevel into that face frame there. Comb will go underneath. I'm just using the tight teeth of the comb and just combing everything down onto a flat plane. I'm just refining that face frame slightly. I'd then like to stand over the top. There's a corner here. It's gonna kind of cut this corner off. The reason I do 45 is I'm creating a slight little bit of graduation here. I just wanna soften the hair that lives above the perimeter. No point cut there. Center section encompassing all that density. We'll pull it out a very low degree of elevation. Working from the bottom up, just connecting it through. It's gonna read really nicely when she wears her hair down. All right, here you have it. A face frame, clean up the perimeter. She could wear it wavy or she could wear it straight, keeping some length around her face frame. We worked with our straight blade scissor, working from the center out on both sides, maintaining a bit of control and a lower elevation. Once we move back to our third section, we begin elevating, creating a little bit of lightness above the round here. Then we moved into the rear of the haircut, evening out this density here through the back. We created a leaner shape while maintaining enough balance for her to style it and have a lot of versatility. We didn't really cut off too much length, just created a very nice balance on an unbalanced haircut. 
All right, thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video.